Hello, it's Kate Stillman, and I wanted to tell a story about my first loan. So when I was starting my wellness career, and I had already invested in the training, uh, and I was looking to actually take, take my career to another level, I needed some money to do it. And I needed, it was about the equivalent of $15,000 today. Uh, and I didn't have the money, but I knew I needed the money in order to get my business up and running in the way that was really aligned for me at the time. So what I needed money for was a year, I wanted to buy a yurt, or like a round <laughs> structure, Mongolian yurt, Y-U-R-T. And uh, I, I didn't have, like, I, I didn't want to go through a bank. I'm not sure why. I was like nervous about small business loans, et cetera, which are, everyone's using them today. But at the time, uh, it just felt like, I didn't really have a business to get a business loan for. I was on the newer side of it all. Um, I had good credit, but I just didn't know enough. So I did the I did the easiest thing, which was called the person that I knew had money that that liked me and trusted me. And in my life, that was my dad. So I called my dad and I was like, Dad, I really want to buy this year for for Yoga Healer for my business to like get like to have a place to work and to get this off the ground. And of course he said, well, why don't you just be like a normal person and, and rent a space in town? And I was like, no, that's not the dream. That's not my vision. That's not my dream. I need, I need to buy this yurt. And he's like, this one yurt, you've already seen the yurt. I'm like, yes, I saw an ad in the paper. This woman was selling a yurt. I went and checked it out. It's amazing. It's perfect. It's like totally prima donna out. It's things amazing. It's brand new. And she doesn't want it because it doesn't, it's too loud. There's not enough insulation, etc. And he says, how much is it? And I tell him the price. He's like, that's a lot of money. And I'm like, I know. And he's like, and you don't have the money, do you? And I said, no, I don't have the money. He's like, and you know I have the money. I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, I'm not going to give you a better rate than a business loan at a banquet. And at the time, this was back in 2002, uh, at the time, it was about 7%. It was pretty high. Right, for a business loan. And so we charted it out. He said, how long do you think it's gonna take you to pay me back? And I said, it's on the safe side, four years. And so we charted it out at 7% over four years. And I said, dad, I'm gonna pay this back in two years and then I'm not gonna pay the 7% on the second two years if I do. He said, okay, that's fine. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, and I like that, I'm, I'm always up for a challenge. I know many people are intimidated by challenges, but uh, I'm not. So in any case, I wanted to prove to him that I, would, I could do this that, those, that this was a good investment in my wellness career. Uh, and at the time, I mean, back in 2002, what I was doing was unusual. There weren't very many Ayurvedic practitioners. I think it was the first one in the state of Idaho, probably the first one in the state of Wyoming as well. Um, when I went to teach in Salt Lake, there wasn't anyone down there either. Uh, they were visiting teachers from time to time, like myself. So doing Ayurveda, A-Y-U-R-V-E-D-A, it was like, Ayur what? You know, like no one, no one really knew much about it. Yoga was pop, becoming more popular, becoming more normal. It wasn't yet really in the gyms, but it was in the yoga studios. So what I was doing with this Ayurvedic medicine year back in 2002 was seen from my dad to be both high risk and low risk. It was high risk because there wasn't a proven market for it where I lived. It was low risk because he saw in me determination and a proven track record with that determination. He also saw outside the box thinking uh, and knowing that like I do things my own way often and it often works out. <laughs> so based on that, he gave me the loan. Yay! Was I totally freaked out? Yeah. Like was I questioning myself? to a degree, yes and no. And to me, this is an important part about risk and credit, which is really what this, vid this video is all about. Often people who wanna take my courses are in a place where they don't have, they just don't have like the cash in hand, right? But they have access to credit. Now, we live in an economy that is based on, it's, it's based on currency, and this currency is, is more or less based on, on credit. So if you're not using credit well, uh, and you're not building up your ability to use credit well, then you're at a massive disadvantage in the marketplace or in, in the level of making money in your career. And it's important to get that, you know? I think especially if you're listening to this and you're a wellness pro, uh, to realize that there's, 
there's no guilt, there's no shame in needing credit. It's how the economy has run since we got it off the gold standard in 1970, right? We decided that credit is king. So how do you, how, who's gonna invest in you? Is it clients that are gonna invest in you to deliver on getting them to better results in their health? Is it someone like you have someone like my dad, like you have someone that believes in you, that trusts you, that can help you grow in the trust of your own inner conviction that will lend you money at close to market rate or market rate? Uh, or is there a financial institution, a small business association, a bank, etc., a credit card that you can use credit in order to step deeper into opportunity? Now, when I look back at that, right, that first loan, and I hustled my way through school. So I went to Ayurvedic medicine school, I went to the Iyengar Yoga Institute two-year yoga teacher training program, and I, I like, kind of like worked to the bone and got myself through those two schools holding two jobs and having, a, having an internship at both schools. So it was, like a, an, it was like an intense time of like deep, deep, deep self-investment, and I came out of that, and then I needed financial investment. I needed money to do something bigger, to fulfill on a vision. I, by doing that, like by actually saying like, this is the money I need to do what I wanna do. And many of you need business training. Like that's what it is more than anything else. That's why you're interested in yoga health coaching. That's why you're watching this video. It's like, you know that you need actually training to get you to the next level. Um, that you need to package your services into a deliverable to get people to results in a time frame. That you need marketing training, that you need enrollment or sales training into that higher ticket item. Like you get it, like you get the whole thing and you know that what's between you and there is guidance, training, mentorship into the next level of running your career. So when I look back to 2002, the thing that I see the most is like, I, I knew when it was aligned. Like I knew the thing when it was aligned, like I want this, this is gonna help me fulfill on my vision. And I said, yes, and it was scary. And it was like, is it really gonna like, is this really gonna work out? But I listened inside and it was like, yes, this is what I wanna do. And so then I took aligned action. I educated myself on like loans and on should I do it with my dad or should I do it with a bank? And I got clear on, okay, there's interest. That's part of this game, got it. Now, because I took that aligned action, it helped me continually invest in myself, Kate Stillman. It helped me continually invest in my business, Yoga Healer, Limited Liability Company, LLC, all right? Uh, and over time, it's grown to more than a million dollar business. Because every time I see like, is this an aligned investment? And I feel yes, and then I feel the fear, and then I do it anyway, it leads to better things. So now when I look at my calendar, like I have a lot of time. I look around my house, I have a gorgeous house. I have two homes, like I've made a lot of great money. Um, and then when I look at my course forums and I go live on coaching and I see my course members and I hear how they're doing and I troubleshoot with them to help them get to what they want next. And I see these progress reports from the mentors and the community at large. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm having, an impact on a far greater scale than I ever imagined, which is why I got this into this in, in the first place. So I hope that gets you over the hump of like finding credit because credit is the new currency. Uh, and, and if it helps you align so that you can become more in the flow with money, then to me, that's a yes. What I look at is what kind of return on that investment can I make? What's the ROI, the return on that investment? And when I go back to each of the investments that I made along the way, uh, the coaches that I've trained with, the programs that I've taken, the uh, infrastructure I've needed, whether right now it's mostly technical infrastructure, the team I've hired to help me along the journey. And I look at each of these investments and I look at what's the return on investment in terms of my day-to-day -day life, in terms of my personal happiness and connection to other people, my desire to learn and grow, and what's going on in the bank account, I look for a fairly aggressive return on that investment, right? More than, more than the market's doing, more than you know, 10% a year or 
tech stocks included 20% a year. And if this seems like, yes, I want that kind of return on investment, then you've got to invest in yourself and take aligned action to do so. You have to, many of you, use credit in order to, to, to start to take those aligned actions. So I hope this has been helpful. If there's any other questions I can answer on this, let me know, reach out.